Hi guys, in this video we'll be dealing with the subject of aliases in SQL. With aliases you can give your field names and your table names, uh, sorry, your fields and tables different names. And um, here we have a query, albeit in German, and what it's querying is a table called Farer. And in this table we have three fields, forename looks like uh, first name, Nachname looks like surname and nation. Well, that's understandable. And what I wish to do here is to change those field names, uh, those German field names to English field names. And obviously, I cannot change the table fields because, you know, the table is given. It's somewhere. And it's not advisable to change table field names because other applications or other systems are dependent on those names that they remain as is. So that's where aliases come in. And I will just use an alias here with the keyword as, as, and now I'm gonna, within quotes, give it the first, the fir my first alias is like this, as first name. With the not name, I'll do the same thing, as, and then surname. Nation can stay as is, that's quite understandable. And uh, a farer, I can just go uh, as and then call it drivers. Now, field names have to be enclosed within quotes. With table names, you don't enclose them within quotes. And if I save that and run that query, so now the situation looks much better. Um, if I wish to order or sort uh, my table, then I will use the new field names or aliases if 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 they exist so for instance nation doesn't have any so i can just use nation comma then surname comma and then uh, first name and if i save that and run that query then i would have that uh, same thing is with uh, where if i wish to filter my data so where surname Let's say I'm looking for all guys whose surname starts with an A, right? And then within single quotes, I just input the filter and save it and run the query. And there we go. So now I have all uh, Formula One drivers whose surname starts with an A and sorted by first nation, then surname, and then uh, first name. Right. Now, it works pretty nicely here in SQLite with aliases, but you will have, you will, running that query in other database systems like Postgres or SQL Server, you will be facing problems. And let's see why. Let me just copy that. And here I'm now in Postgres and uh, I've run the query and it says where surname, it's got a problem with surname, column surname does not exist. Let me comment that thing out first of all with a swear and run that query again and it works perfectly. Now, the problem is the following. In most database systems, with the exception of SQLite, is uh, the following. When you have a query and uh, you alias your field names or table, then the where statement does not know or is not aware of those aliases. The where statement is only aware of the pure field names, the field names as is. The order doesn't matter because order is, is being uh, processed after everything is done. So it is aware of the new field names like surname and first name, but not the where because the where gets processed before those aliases are being processed. So that's why the where statement is not aware of those new aliases because they are processed after the where is being processed. Now, how do I uh, deal with this issue? Well, there are two ways of dealing with it. One is the not so good way, and it's basically use the old field name. Let's say here the German name, Nach name, and uh, run that. So that'll work. But a way better uh, method is to uh, use the alias because that makes your query, your SQL, much more readable. And what you do, you enclose that query within an outer query. So the way it goes like this, so is that select everything from 
and then open paran, and here close paran. And what I do is just let me tap that in to make it more readable. So now what I got is I have enclosed my original query with all them aliases within an outer query, and that outer query I can just call, you know, outer query. And now that where is, is, is belongs to this outer query, and that outer query is aware of those uh, uh, aliases because it just knows those aliases. The outer query does not know these inner, those original names, it just knows these names. So now my query would work. And you see, I've got no problems. And if you wish to add um, table names to your uh, field names, then you would have to use that. That is your new table. What we, what we have effectively, what we have done here is basically we have created a new table, non-physical, it does not exist physically, but we've created a new, let's say, virtual table, which is basically whatever that is. You know, this, is, is, this new virtual table is the result of that query. And this virtual table is basically our table where all of that stuff is working now. And if I wish to add um, uh, table names to my to my field names, then I would have to add this one, the outer query. So that would look like this, outer query, then dot, surname, and if I run that, I would get the same result as before. So this is the, the whole thing that when dealing with aliases and where, make sure to enclose your main query within an outer query because that outer query is necessary for the where's to function if you wish to, you know, uh, be consistent your field names because I am uh, aliasing those field names to make the field names more readable and I wish to use those aliases everywhere because that makes my whole SQL code much more readable because having here, you know, the old field name makes it very unreadable and this query works in every system, even in SQLite uh, SQLite is tolerant, it doesn't need this outer query, but still uh, it's much better to do it this way because, you know, it makes your code much more portable between systems. And let me just copy that and take it over to the SQLite. So, and if I just run the query, then you see I get the same thing. And obviously if I change the name to B, uh, to, uh, you know, looking for uh, names with B, then, you know, that works. So that's, that's the issue with queries. Uh, with the uh, with aliases sorry and uh, it's pretty simple using the as the one thing one uh, one has to remember that when using where or basically in every query use aliases you'll probably be using where to enclose your main query within an outer query